Hi, I'm Brack. Yes, yeah, sorry, a little bit of silliness. Dread said I should say that as an intro. So, do you like that? Let me know. If not, or do you prefer, g'day, it's Brack here. Anyway, it's Brack here. I got a box. This box came from OTP Terrain, which is one of the suppliers for Gear Guts models. So, let's go open it and have a look inside. Before we open up a box, I have to talk about coffee and the fact that this show is brought to you by Big Mech Kid because he bought me this coffee, which I got from the Buy Me A Coffee app. So if you would like to support this channel, you can buy me a coffee as well. Go and check out the app. Link in the description below. Ah, Thank you very much, Big Mac Kid. Alright, let's go and open this box. Well, I have opened it already. I just want to make sure that things weren't missing before I did this video because oh well you may want to see tears but I don't want to give them uh, anyway let's go and have a look so here is the the mega tank the goblin mega tank and this they comes in a nice little bag like that so look so many pieces but there's about five or six main pieces here six pieces that would just say would make up the main body and then we've got turrets and guns and 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 things so we'll look at that a little later we'll put that aside and let's check out the main so this is the body and really really light it's nice and light which is which is fantastic some great detail on here we've got lots of rivets and a bit of gubbins and some treads on the track and it would go together like so so we'll put that there so we can have a little look and see that so that would go like thus and then of course you'd have the the top would slide in here like that and voila look at this look here there's this really there's a little bit of tidying to do so you've got a little bit of flash down here and a, and a bit of filament sort of flopping up there but a hobby knife is going to see quick smart of that nothing to be overly concerned about I similar stuff has happened from OTP and it hasn't been an issue in the past and I can't see it being an issue in the future and so we've now got the bow and so it's very similar they've got a so they're identical two pieces mirror images of each other nice design looks really good a little bit of tidying up and that would go like like so a bit of glue and put that like that and then that would go there like that and there yeah and there you have it it's looking pretty sweet isn't it and here are the turrets and bits. There's five turrets and six hatches. And we have all the, all the, not all the weapons. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven various weapons there 
had a little look before the inspection and I couldn't see any major flaws. So it printed well, it printed fine. There's going to be no issues with, with gluing this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop here and then I am going to glue the the main body of the tank so we can then do some uh, size comparisons. And voila, here he is. Well, the body's all together. We haven't stuck the turrets or the, the hatches down. Because I'll fiddle around with that too. That's what it looks like. Nice and nice and solid. Now, this came from OTP, so I can't tell you what it's going to look like uh, from the other stores. But now, this material that they use at OTP, it loves the super glue. So you have to be really, really quick uh, to get this, this stuck in because uh, it sticks very fast. And so you wouldn't want to be have these things unaligned, uh, like what happened with my other fellow. So there you go. That's that's him there. And here is a DACA wagon. So there we go. Roughly about the same, a little bit higher. There we go. So so narrow a little bit higher only because of the the turret and just a little bit a little bit shorter but other than that it's looking it's looking pretty good and oh there's some there's some great detail while I was gluing this then the the detail sort of sort of hit me you've got this fantastic looking um, exhaust here and he has a, a little flap so I can just imagine the steam coming up and having a look but what gets me what I really really like here is this paneling here is meant to represent wood and it goes all the way through and even onto the bow here so you can have some fun with some brown paints and sort of make it like it's a, a wooden deck so I suppose we're going to need some some uh, grot ship makes to swab the decks and and do things like that. So, yeah, look, as I said, a little bit of tidying up. There's lots of different textures to, to paint and play with. This little hatch, which actually shows a, a little cannon or something um, to come out of, which is a, a great idea. I think that could be a, another place to put a shooter or, or something like that. It depends what you, what you want to do and how you want to model it. And look, very similar design elements to 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 this bob so it it, it, it does it, it, it will fit in quite well and depending how you paint it so if you have a normal sized battle wagon there you go it holds up against him quite well too and roughly about this yeah, similar sort of dimensions so it will fit really well in in your army that's that i'm not quite sure what else i can say it's uh the goblin mini tank d it's from gear guts on the screen i'm gonna flash up there'll be the various prices from the various stores um, if you want to buy it physical, uh, you know, if you want a physical model like that, there, there are three places to go. Their names and the price tags are going to come up on the screen through the, the magic of editing. Yeah. If you're looking for a tank, looking for a, 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 a goblin or a, a grot tank of sorts, then, uh, yeah, you can't. I'd definitely be having a look at this and there it is the Goblin Mini Mega Tank D and 
it's a it's a wondrous thing I would definitely want to check this out so go and check out the stores and have a good time thanks for watching I do recommend you go and check out gear gut stuff at your local store the links will be below in the description I hope you enjoyed that review if so please subscribe like and share the video do you have any gear guts models or is there something that you haven't got that you'd like to get please make a comment below let's have a conversation also if you'd like to support me as I make videos you can do as the folks whose names are appearing on the screen they have been my financial provider on either Patreon or buy me a coffee for the last month. Links below in the description. Okay, it's time for me to toddle off now, so I am going to leave you with one little nugget of wisdom. If you're going crumpin', you gotta bash early and bash often. <laughs>